Hello, I'm Jeff Tranter, and in this video we'll look at the Heathkit HG10 VFO. We'll also show it operating with the matching HR10B receiver and DX60B transmitter, which I've covered in other videos. The HG10 is a VFO, or Variable Frequency Oscillator. Most ham radio transmitters of this vintage use crystals for frequency control. A separate VFO like this was often required to support multiple frequencies. Designed as an accessory for the DX60 transmitter, it could also be used with other commercial or homebrew transmitters. It was introduced in 1961, the year I was born. The HG10B was introduced in 1967 and produced until 1976. It sold new for $37.95 and was only available as a kit that the user had to assemble. The circuit makes use of two tubes and puts out about 5 volts RMS of RF. It features an illuminated slide rule dial that rotates with the band switch. It supports 80, 40, 20, 15, 10, 6 and 2 meters. The DX60 didn't support the 6 or 2 meter bands. It required an external power source which could be supplied by the DX60 transmitter. The manual also describes a suitable power supply that could be built if needed. This unit was purchased as a Christmas gift for me in 1976 and my father paid $40 plus tax. This is the HG10 model. The later HG10B had a wrinkled paint finish and darker colored knobs to match the HR10B receiver and DX60B transmitter. Taking a look at the front panel, we have a function switch with settings for standby, operate, and spot. And then a frequency knob for controlling the slide rule dial. And a band switch selecting between the different bands with the rotating slide rule indication, as you can see. On the rear panel is a phono jack for the RF output a jack for the key which typically wasn't used with the DX60 transmitter and a power connector uh, for external power which typically came from the transmitter as well as uh, some other signals. Let's now look at a complete station setup. In 1976 I operated my first amateur radio station using the HR10B receiver DX60B transmitter and HG10 VFO. I mostly operate CW, Morse code, on the 40 meter band using a dipole antenna. You can see here the station assembled and ready to operate. While it did not support break-in, you can switch between transit and receive using a single switch. This is the Homebrew TR Transmit Receive Relay, which switches the antenna between the transmitter and receiver and puts the receiver and transmitter in operate or standby mode. To round out the vintage station, a few years ago I purchased this HM11 SWR meter, which matches the rest of the equipment. All of the equipment is fully functional and I still occasionally use it. I hope you enjoyed this little video showing some vintage amateur radio equipment.